Shalom. I'm we'll going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq Wadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, where millstone, rule well and teach well. Citation, rest you bros, pushing this truth for the city, risking life, do so in the spirit, by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom. It's Brother Kawan coming at you another lesson today, man. All right, from the Great Millstone Doubts Camp. Uh, today I want to go over uh, idolatry uh, that, our, that the nation of Israel currently commits today, man. All right, and what they did then and they continue to do now. What you see right now here before you is the 12 tribes chart sign of the nation of Israel that uh, here we here at Gray Millstone firmly believe in and currently use to this day. All right. Every every tribe that you see on here, okay, from the left to the right, we believe that those are the tribes and the people of of the of the nation of Israel, man. All right, from from the start, from Judah all the way down to Ishkar, man. These are the this is the true nation of the nation of Israel, man. All right. So uh, I want to jump right into the lesson, man. Judah, you so-called Negroes, man. Y'all are the head tribe of the nation of Israel. So with you being the head tribe of the nation of Israel, you're supposed to be setting forth an example to the rest of your brethren, man. All right, to the rest of your kinsmen. To on how to on how to beat, man. And on how on how to follow the Lord the, the Lord's will, man. On how to on how to uh act out, you know, the the, the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. But with us falling away from that, you know, as 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 we are the head, you know, the the, the uh, you Judites, man. Oh, as we are the head, and we fall, a soul will follow the rest of the tribes, man. But if we're good in good standards, man, with the high about Shem Shai. The Lord only calls God in Jesus Christ, man. Hey, and if we're in good standings with the Lord, and we're falling in the Lord the best way possible, perfectly, man. If it was like that, you know, if we were in that second covenant, hey, the rest of the tribes will follow into that, man. But that's just not how it is yet until the Lord comes back, you know, and delivers us up out of, the, out of this captivity. Now, well, let's just jump right into it. Judah, you so-called Negroes, man. So, let's get my precept I have. It's Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident, so it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. All right, going to, back to you know, Matthews 1 and 1. All right. He sprang forth from the tribe of Judah. All right. And what was is that? What was, he was the root. An offspring of David. I mean, he came out of. That goes into a deeper meaning, but you know we're not gonna go into that because that's a whole nother lesson. Nevertheless, the Lord came out of the lineage and the line of David, man. All right, that was that was those were the generations that he came from. His father was a Judite. Joseph was a Judite. His mother was a Judite, out of the same line. But she, but uh, 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 Mary, she came out of uh, the line of Nathan. Okay, they were both Judites. Both of his parents was Judites. All right. So that, was, so what us, what, what we, what we're saying on that twelve tribes chart sign. All right. Why right, you so-called Negroes are the tribe of Judah, man? And the Lord looks like you. The heavenly Father and the Son looks like you. Okay. Along with the rest of the other tribes, man. You know, we all dark skinned people. You can look you can look look at look at the twelve tribes chart sign and pull up where these people are in the world. And they are dark skinned people. Now yes, the northern tribe is lighter in complexion than the than the southern tribe, but they still have a dark pigment about their skin, man. Alright? All the tribes have pigment in their skin all the nations have pigment in their skin except for esau you know but you know that was a heathen we're talking about the the, the the true nation of israel man that the lord loves and only loves man 
all right? He gave you his law, statutes, and commandments, and you've broken them, man, countless times. So let's get those, uh, let's jump right into the actual lesson, man. Oh, before I do that, Salakia, let's go into the, the name real quick. You know, land backing off what bros was going into last night at camp, you know. One for folk call like y'all about your shot. Uh, as you see right here, I pulled up the name Jesus in the uh in the Greek, all right. So what did it say in Hebrews 7 and 14? It said it says that our Lord is evident, obvious, all right. If you don't know what the word evident means, it's obvious that our Lord sprang forth out of Judah. Why? Because of his appearance, okay? A dark skinned man, as described in Revelations 1 and 13 through 15, man, on of the appearance of the Lord and Savior, man. All right. So, and with the letter J only being created in the 1600s, and you know that that our Lord came 2,000 plus years ago, that it just doesn't add up. The math don't add up, man. But so, you know, us men and grilled millstone has been set up by the spirit of you. How about Shem Shah to bring out this truth to you, man? To tell you one of the truths of the scriptures, man, in the lies of this world. The name of the Lord is not Jesus, man. It doesn't make sense at all. And, and what, how you pronounce it right here is Jesus. So what? So what's the name of the Lord, man? Is it Jesus or is it Jesus? Y'all got to figure that out for yourself. It's neither one of those names, man. Because like like it says right here, that G twenty four twenty three, it's it's like your twenty G twenty four and twenty four. That's Greek. That's not Hebrew. The tribe of Judah is not the head tribe of the children of Greece, man. <laughs> it's the head tribe of the children of Israel. Hebrew Israelites. Hebrews. All right. And where you see here it says root word etymology of Hebrew origin. So before we click on that, because I, I'm going I'm to prove the point even further. Where it says, I'm going to read here out. Right here it says outline of biblical usage. Jesus equals Jehovah is salvation, or He is salvation. All right, and Jehovah is not the name of the heavenly Father either, man. There were no, there is no J's in the Paleo Hebrew, man. All right, now let's jump to C. Joshua was the famous captain of the Israelites, Moses' successor. In in the in, in the English language, Joshua. It's how you it's how you say Yahweh Shai, man. All right, Yahweh Shai is the Hebrew of the name of the Lord. Now, in the English, his actual name would be pronounced Joshua, not Jesus. All right, Jesus is not the name of the Lord, and it says root word entomology of Hebrew origin. So now you know that the Lord is a Hebrew. Well, you have to go. And you have to search up actual Hebrew, man. Actual Paleo Hebrew, you know, words, man. You got to search out that alphabet and put it together. So we're going to click on root word etymology. So how you see it says translation. That's not how you write it out. That's how that's I believe that's uh, that's that's how they say it in the Yiddish, which is they're pronouncing that. Absolutely incorrect. All right. Now, where you see at the top of the screen, it says H3091. As you see in the Assyrian, all right, that's the Assyrian Hebrew. And um, that it says Yahweh Shai, okay? So I have the characters pulled up right here. So like, let me take this off real quick. So I can, you can see it side by side. This is the Syrian. We have the Syrian along with the Paleo Hebrew. So you can pause the video and look it over yourself if I go through too fast with it. As you can see, you can see the Yah. Now you need to understand one thing, where it's where you need you have to read Hebrew from right to left. This is not English. Alright. This is Hebrew. 
So you have to read from right to left, not left to right, or else it's not going to make sense to you. So with that being said, as you can see, you can see the Yah symbol. Now look at the Assyrian in the Hebrew at the uh, well, just look at the uh, Syrian because, you know, the Paleo Hebrew is not there in the blue letter. All right. So you can see the Yah in the Wa in the Slakia. Yah, Ha, Wa, Shai. So let's see. I'm going to keep it like that. So that way you can see it both. All right. You can see the Yah and you can see the Ha, Wa, Look, let's go to the shy as that's on the left side the shy and the ah and you see the eye as well as you see that right there is the eye at the end of the sentence i mean it's like at the end of his name man it looks like a you it looks like a y in the english but it's an i so it's ya ha wa shy i put the shy and the i together man Wa ha wa shy. All right, that's how you say the name of the Savior in the Paleo Hebrew. So let's get the Lord's name as well. Let's type in because wherever the Lord is in the scriptures, Salakia, that's where Yahweh is supposed to be. Let's go to any random scripture, pull it up. Jehovah. <laughs> See, they give you so many incorrect names. It's crazy, man. They don't, they don't even know how to say <laughs> it themselves. Is, is it Jehovah or Jehovah, man? If y'all got to make up your minds, it's too much confusion out here, man. So that way we have to go through it correctly. See, uh, it says Jehovah equals the existing one. Or in the Hebrew, it's he he is, man. Uh, as you continue to read, it says the proper name of the one true God. The one true power, man, that created all heavens and all earth. Okay. As you see right here, it says in the Hebrew, this, the, uh, this is the Assyrian. All right. And it says H3068 at the top of the screen. So let's get this at the top right here. As you can see. You can see the Yah, as you as you saw with, with Yahushua's name. The, you see the Yah, and you see the now. Remember, you're reading from right to left. You see the Yah, Ha, Wa, Yahawa, as you can see, bro. You have to. It's 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 really simple, you know, that that Jehovah in Jehovah is not the name of the Lord, and just what five to was that five to eight minutes was proven to you that the true names of the heavenly father and the son is Yahweh and Yahweh shot man all right so let's jump right into my lesson man it's like oh I almost stopped the lesson mm. this is Ezekiel it's like it. um, eight starting at six now this is going into what the lesson is over man idolatry why because israel turned away and turned their back on yahweh by shimmy shy and they wanted to do their own thing man they wanted to serve gods of the heathen and they wanted to make wood and stone of their own and worship it and call it a god but there's recom recom uh what's, what's the word i'm looking for repercussions for those actions man so we're going we're going to get into those repercussions for for that idolatry, man. And yes, you Christian you for you Christians, man, worshiping that name Jesus or Buddha, Allah, or Selassie or whoever you want to worship, if you're not worshiping the true names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man, then you're going off. All right, you are going off. The Lord is not going to hear your prayers in the days of judgment, man. So continue to do what you want to do, man. We're going to see how long that's going to last you. 
Ezekiel 8 and starting at 6. This is uh when the Lord uh brought Ezekiel to the to Jerusalem to the temple and he he was watching wicked Israelites do what uh sacrifices unto idols. This is Ezekiel 8 and 6. He said, Further furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go afar off from my sanctuary, but turn that ye turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. All right, those was the chief captains of the of, of the nation of Israel, man. Basically, the chief high priest in the temple sacrificing to other idols, man. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, and behold, a hole in the wall. Then said unto me, Son of man, dig in the wall, and I will. And when I had digged in the wall, behold a door. And he said unto me, Go in, behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold every form of creeping things, and of abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Israel, portrayed upon the wall, round about. Man. And there stood before them 70 men of ancients of the house of Israel. So those are the leaders, the chief high priests, the captains, man, the leaders of the nation. This is what the leaders of the nation are doing, man. So with them being the leaders of the nation, what are, what are the people going to do? They're going to follow. Okay. In the midst of them stood an Isaiah, the son of Shaphan. Sh with every man his censer in his hand, all right, and a thick cloud of incense went up. They they over there lighting incense, just like you, to those idols, man. Instead of you know slaying 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 lawful beast, you know lighting up incense upon the altar of to Yahweh by Shem Shah, giving all praises to him. Instead of them doing that, man, they over there bowing to images. More than likely had pork in the temple slaying it upon the altar onto, an, uh, onto some type of stone or image, man. Which is an abomination to the Heavenly Father, man. Going all the way off, being hella wicked, bro. This is what the chief captains were doing. Let's see what happens with, with, with the people as well. Then said unto me, son of man, hast thou seen what the angels of the house of Israel do in the dark? And every man in his, of his chambers of his imagine, imagine, imaginary, for they say the Lord seeth us not. See, they, that's the, that's their mindset, man. They think the heavenly Father don't see what they doing, man. Now this is then, but Israel they so they so gone in their mind, you know, through slavery and that in our culture getting beat out of us, you know. Israel believed they actually worship in the Most High when they go to church every Sunday, man. But that couldn't be further from the truth. For they say the Lord saved us not. The Lord has forsaken the earth. That was their mindset, man. That the Lord had forsaken them. But the, but the Heavenly Father did turn his back on Israel. Why is that? Because the, uh, Israel was continually being wicked, bro. The Heavenly Father just didn't do nothing for no reason, man. The Heavenly Father don't do nothing for no reason the heavenly father is not a random entity man okay for your actions man against you how about shim how shot there will be recom recom uh slacky <laughs> repercussions man all right but if we was doing good man in the sight of the how about shim how shot man this will we still be in our land man flourishing hella hard bro if we just didn't go off and let's go with this going to 13 voice verse he said also unto me turn thee yet again and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do okay this is what happens when what they with, with the chief high priest captains all right with the leader of, of israel doing what they're doing what's gonna happen to everybody else then he brought me to the door of the gate of the lord's house which was towards the north all right and behold there said women Weeping for Tammuz, another idol, another false god, man. All right, over there weeping and praying to Tammuz, man. 
for whatever reason. Either way, they brought their sorrows and, 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 and of heart to a, to a damn stone statue, man. Instead of praying to Yahweh, turning their face to the east and praying to Yahweh by Shimei, how was shot, man. All right. Or going to the high priest, all right, sending their, having them send their prayers up to the heavenly father, man. And the actual high priest actually doing right by Yahweh by Shimei, how was shot, man. That's what, but they was going all the way out from the Lord, man. Sacrificing to vain sculptures and stones and wood and things like that. But hey, but the Lord said He would do what if we did that in His land? He would push us out. And as you can see, the nation of Israel, from what you saw at the beginning of the lesson, with the twelve tribes uh, sign, a hey, surely the uh, the Heavenly Father has done such a thing, man. He pushed us up out of our land, and ever since then we have continual continually served captivity after captivity man this is jeremiah 4 and 22 for my people is foolish so what they was doing in the temple of the lord was foolish man weeping weeping before a stone and praying to a damn stone that can't hear or speak or even see that can't do nothing that's not alive man all right praying to something that's not alive is foolish man it is foolish they have not known me. They are sightish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. All right? They are wise to do evil. You know, they knew, they, they, meaning they, 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 they damn good at doing evil before my eyes, man. They refuse to, to, to hearken unto me. Okay? To listen to my words. So what what's going to be the recom... recom uh, I don't know how I keep something over this word. <laughs> what's the what's the, what's the re, uh, repercussions for that, man? Okay, it's gonna be death. The wages of sin is death, man. You break once, you break one law, you broke them all. Deuteronomy's twenty-eight and thirty-six, man. Cause this just didn't happen in in the. Uh, our, our American captivity. This happened in all our captivities, man. Okay. This is Deuteronomy. Let's see. Shall I start at? Oh, kind. I'm gonna start at 32. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. For 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 what day? This is the curses. If you follow not the heavenly Father's word, this is the curses. This is what happens to you if you continue in, into idolatry, man. And this is finna come in this time again, right here. This sec thirty second verse is finna come hard and heavy, man, because the nation of Israel to this day refuses to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. They refuse to listen to the prophets today. But we gonna see what's gonna happen, you know, if uh, when when it, when America starts to open back up, man, you know, because Trump says he's trying to open up America again for. You know, supposedly in a couple of days or whatnot, we gonna see how these people's countenance is. You know, when we out there on the highways and byways, you know, after this, we gonna see if the nation of Israel is gonna take a little bit more heed to the words of the heavenly Father, man. Because in the blink of, of an eye, the Lord shut this this bitch down for what a whole two months. All right, so we gonna see the uh, the people's countenance then. This is Deuteronomy 20 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. That's happening to this day. To this day. With the tribe of uh, of Ishkar and Ash at the borders, man. They taking away the uh, uh, the y'all children, man. And putting their ass in the con concentration camps. And that was way over, what, a year ago? Who knows what's happening now, man. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You're not gonna be able to deliver yourself or your children out of the situation you yo, uh, 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 that you're in because the enemies, your enemy, is too great. And who is who, who are our enemies? The heathen, man. And the top chief heathen today is Esau, Edom. We don't have power to deliver ourselves out of our, out of the hands of our enemies, man. The Lord said that no man shall redeem you. 
All right. No man shall buy you. That means redeem. That means save, man. Not even yourself, especially not yourself, because I'm not going to be with you to fight for you, man. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always, man. That's what happened to, to the northern tribe when, when Columbus and his pals came over here, man. All right. I came through with that fort tongue. Got you to learn to teach them the ways of the land and what they do. They turned their back on you and broke all them treaties and slaughtered you and crushed you, man. And now where are you at? 98% of the uh, uh, gag. Gone, man. Out of the earth. And only a remnant of them remain, man. So that thou, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees, in the legs, where they saw a botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot. Unto the top of thy head. It's like, yeah, uh, somebody dropping off a package. It's like, yeah. Uh, so where was I at? I'm gonna reread 35. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and the legs with that with a sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which thou neither which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. All right, that's Lord saying He gonna bring you. In your kings in the captivity, man. Yahweh Shai went into captivity. Yahweh Shai was in captivity under the Romans. And Yahweh Shai is what? Our king, man. So Heavenly Father then, hey, the Heavenly Father, that was that was everybody. He meant everybody of the nation, man. Okay. And it's it's heavy, man. It's it's just, it's sad, bro. In, the, in our nation is still being wicked to this day, man. They still refuse to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. This, hey, this truth been going out since 1970, man. It's 2020. <laughs> so, hey, you, you have no covering for your sins. Israel, y'all done heard this truth, man. Hey, and we honestly believe, man, hey, the elect, man, is, hey, the elect is finna be sealed, man. Hey, and what happens when the elect is sealed, man? Those four winds that these angels is holding right now, the Lord is gonna let them go, man. Then you gonna you we gonna you gonna receive those four sword judgments, the sword, the famine, death, and destruction and pestilence, man. That's what that's what this place is finna receive from the heavenly Father. If you don't believe us, man, wait and see. We gonna see who is right. As you can see in the world, there's no love in the world right now. There's only hate and war that's going going on right now, man. So we we gonna see who's gonna be right at the end of the day, man. Was your Christian pastors right, or was those guys you perceived to be crazy on the highways and byways correct? We gonna see. And it says, "And there shalt thou serve other gods, other false images, wood and stone." You can see those in these churches, which are these harlot houses today, man. What you, what's the first thing you see when you walk in there? You either see a, a cross on the wall, a portrait of of of, uh, of that boy, the, uh, Jesus on the wall. And when you walk in further into uh, where the, the podium is, you either see a, a stone statue of Jesus behind a pastor. Or a, a large ass wooden uh, carving of it, of a cross, man. That's idolatry, man. At its finest, and you people earnestly believe in such things, man. You earnestly believe in it. That's not the ways you how about Shem how Shah told you to follow in, man. Heavenly Father never told you to go in, go in and build a, a temple unto Him. All right, He Lord said He dwelleth in temples not made with hands, man. He's he dwelleth in you, nation, the nation of Israel. All right, Lord, don't you can't build a house to the heavenly Father, man. 
The Heavenly Father already has a house. It's the heavens. And I'm not talking about no just no skies up above, man. Lord uh, dwells in a totally different realm than this realm that we're currently living in right now, man. So you can't build no house for the Heavenly Father. The Lord just told you to follow in the ways that he done set up for you. All laws, statutes, and commandments. All 600 plus laws you follow, man. But of course, we know we in captivity and we can't follow those laws. But that just don't mean sin to your heart contents, man. You know, try do something, you know. That's what you have about Shem House Shines looking for. They're looking for effort. And effort is not going out in the, into our nation, man. Only a certain number of men on the earth is actually trying in the spirit of power. You have about Shem House Shah, man. Along with, with some women as well. Other than that, then hey man, ain't too many, ain't too many people, ain't too many people of our nation trying, man. So for that, man, you're gonna get be recompensed. This is Deuteronomy 31 and 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after other after the after the gods of the strangers of the land. What are the, the gods of the strangers of the land? All right. The false idols of the heathen. All right. Whether they go to be amongst them. All right. When they go to be amongst the heathen, they going to follow after their gods. And they surely did. And we're surely doing it to, the, to this day, man. It will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. We aid. Hey, the nation of our nation is currently breaking that covenant that we have made with Yahweh by Shimei Hoshah all those years ago, man. That covenant don't change, man. You know, <laughs> that's an agreement that we made with the Heavenly Father forever. All right, forever, for all eternity, is that to be kept, man? Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day. And I will forsake them and I will hide my face from them. I'm gonna turn my back on them. All right. And what hey, and what 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 happened when the Lord turned his back on us, man? I mean he's gonna take that hedge of protection away from us. And he's gonna let the other nations what swallow us up, man. And let them do what the hell of a they want to do to us, and which they have done. And I will hide my face from them. And they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them. So that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us because our power is not amongst us? Man, that's the answer, man. You ask the question, that's the answer. Why your children get killed in the streets by, the, by, by, by these cops, man? Why did you spend so long in the slavery? These, these, these are questions, O house of Israel, you should be asking yourself, man. But you hey, but you refuse to hearken to the prophets. The prophets are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Hawsha. We've been set up so your dumbass can, can receive what you needed to receive, man. Ultimately, man, this time around we only preaching to the elect, man. Once that elect is sealed, it's all done. Then all hell will break loose in the earth, man. And what's the Lord going to do? He's going to turn his back again on this place, man. And we'll and let all types of wickedness and, and perverseness go out through the land, man. So he can slay two-thirds of his people that refuse to hearken back unto him, man. This is a, this is the second exodus. And he's not going to bring that that unrighteous seed through the, through the fire, man. Like he did in ancient Egypt. Just so they can fucking murmur, man. Lord ain't doing that again. And the Lord ain't coming back down here to die for you niggas again, man. So he gonna come back as that as a lion and put you to death, man. Continue not seeking after you how about Shem Hal Shah. Keep thinking, think, keep thinking that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, keep thinking that the Lord of the Bible is gonna fucking play games with you, man. But we gonna see. And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought in, the, in that day are turned unto other gods, man. 
All this, all this, all this is gonna come back upon your head, Israel. Continue to do what you want to do, man. And then I'm gonna recompense you and turn that and turn that shit back upon your own head. And that's what's gonna come hot and heavy in the days that we are in now, because you refuse to return and hearken I'm back onto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Well, the Lord is gonna put you to death, man, because you are useless to Him, man. You are useless. A vain thing, a vain creature. Creatures made to be destroyed. I'm going to end it out on this, man. I'm going to let these precepts speak, man. Slug him. I'm already there. Leviticus, starting at 40, 14. This is Leviticus 26, starting at 14. But if you will not hearken unto me, and when I do all these commandments, and if you and if ye shall despise my statues, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but but that but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror and consumption and the burning anger anger that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And yeah, shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat them, man. Shall put them to death. All right. And that happens continually to this day. 17. And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. You're the heathen, man. That they that hate you shall reign over you. The heathen shall reign over you. And you shall flee with. When none pursueth you, and if you will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then will I punish you seven times more for your sins, man. And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven in, as iron and your earth as brass. Yeah, that's straights, man. Those are straights. You're gonna be always in straights, man, always oppressed. And your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield her increase. Neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. And if you walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven more plagues upon you according to your sins. And I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number. And your highway shall be desolate. And if you will not be reformed by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, hey, the Lord is giving you breakdown after breakdown after breakdown, man. This is plague after plague after plague after plague. If you continue on not in my ways, I'm going to send this upon you. If you continue not in my ways, I'm going to send this upon you. Let's keep going. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when you are gathered together within your cities, I will send a pestilence upon you, and you shall be delivered into the hand of your enemies. All right, the Lord said he's going to bring a sword upon you. Remember 70 AD? And the Lord brought the sword upon us, man. And, and, and this is going to be 70 AD all over again, man. Alluding to 2nd Edges 15 chapter. Hey, that's 2nd Edges 16 chapter as well. That sword is going to come upon two-thirds of our people. Hot and heavy, man. The Lord said his sword shall be bathed in heaven, man. Hey, it's going to be it's going to be a bloody mess out here, man. It's going to be so much death out here. And hey, who who's causing all this? Hey, you, in that time you going to know the heavenly Father and his son is doing these things in the earth, man. Oh, man. Let's keep going. This is 26. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, 10 women shall bake your bread in one oven and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight and you shall eat and not be satisfied. Famine. And if you will not hear for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then will I walk contrary unto you also in fury. And I even I will chasten you seven times for your sins and you shall eat the flesh of your sons. And you shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters and the flesh of your daughters 
shall ye eat. And that's a four sword judgments, man. That famine, that famine gonna hurt, boy. They tell you that that they Lord said it'd be better if you be slain by the sword than famine. You gotta cause you again slain by the sword, that's 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 just less a little while of pain. But that famine, that's long suffering, man. That is the true definition of long suffering. Watching your body deteriorate and eat on itself and just curl up and die, man, like a maggot. Whew. And I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you. And I will make your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. And I will not smell the savior of your sweet or art, Slaki. And I will not smell the savior of your sweet odors. All right. Don't try to turn back onto me when all this coming back onto you, man. Because I already told you not to do this. This is what the Lord said to Israel, man. And I will bring the land into desolation. And your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. Man, is this the, is this the people of the Lord? Is this, hey, is, is this the people of Yahweh Shem Is this the people that was delivered out of Egypt by their power, man? How have they become de how how have they become a desolation, man? The ones that serve the true living power, how have they become a desolation? Because they continue to serve false idols made of wood and stone, man. That's how we have become a des des desolation, man. That's one of the examples on how the is how the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is why the fuck you are in straits to this day, man. So it would behoove you. It would behoove you to listen to the men that that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set up on this earth again for y'all ignorant asses to receive salvation, man. It would behoove you to listen and hearken this time. Because it's not going to be a time on this earth like never before. There ever will be again, man. That's how bad it's going to get out here. And if you don't believe us, wait and see. All right. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honor to my elder apostle, great millstone, who rule well and teach well. Salutations to the rest of you, brothers, pushing this truth for the city risk in life. Do so in spirit, by Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, Shalom, Ababa Baal. On to the next one. You better hearken, Israel. This time is running out. Shalom.